This is broccoli soup. And in our family, this is Italian penicillin, not pastina. There are no measurements for this recipe. Everything is done by your eyeball and taste and smell as any good recipe is. If you were doing this the way my grandmother would do this, you would be sauteing your garlic and olive oil and your broccoli before adding anything else. We're not doing it that way. We're doing it my mom's way. The way that you do this when you have sick kids at home and you just want everybody to have a bowl of comfort, that's what we're making tonight. In this pot, I have olive oil, salt, water. It is on to boil. I am going to add some minced garlic. Yes, I minced this myself. Why, you might be asking? No garlic today? No, not for this recipe. It is one of those things that I have to use real garlic for. My mom might murder me if I don't. As you can see, this is boiling. Add in your broccoli, it's two crowns, floretted. Cut into baby florette size pieces, bite size, whatever. I don't like the stems. I am also going to add in a whole pound of pasta. This is Ditalini, you can use whatever you like. My mom used to use any small pasta. Sometimes she would break up spaghetti noodles. Sometimes she would have weird shapes. This is what I have today. Give it a stir. Basically, as soon as your pasta's done, your soup is done. I know what you're thinking. This cannot be delicious. Just wait. Turn your pot down to a simmer. You do not want your noodles to cook before your broccoli. You want your broccoli to be almost mushy by the time your noodles are done. You can add your broccoli first if you like really mushy broccoli. When your noodles are almost done, you're going to take the back of a spoon and smash your broccoli up against the walls of your pot. This is going to make your broccoli soup more broccoli soup, less salty broccoli water, as my husband likes to call this meal. Don't worry, he'll still eat it. This is broccoli soup or Italian penicillin in our family, the way my mom used to make it. Normally, I would top this with sprinkle cheese, but I happen to have shaved Parmesan, so that's going on top of this soup. I don't remember a time that I have ever eaten this soup without burning my mouth because I need to eat it the second it is done. It is so good. I can't wait for it to cool, okay? That is so good. But of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials.